Now, I don't know if you guys seen this Ebony K. Williams clip, but we're going to play it for those who haven't. Solomon, to the clip. To speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. <laughs> Would you date if he owns the bus? <laughs> if he owns no. it. If he owns Hold on, the bus, did, you, did you catch no. what she said? That's a problem. Now let's no. address the response. Okay, cut that, cut that. She asked her, would you, after she gave that whole spill, all right, well, would you date a bus driver? You know, an average guy, basically. She said, yeah, if he owned the bus. But then that means she wouldn't date him because if that's not an average bus driver. Right, but that that's what she was getting at. So I wanted to know you guys feeling on, on that. How do you guys feel about what she said? Basically saying... Mm. Damn, we can't find guys that fit, you know, the standard that we make for guys, you know, whether it be the how much income they make, how well they can protect, provide, you know, that whole spill she just ran down. And she's like, you know, all right, cool. Well, would you date a guy that can do all that, but he's a bus driver? She's like, nah, he got to own it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he providing, but he got to own it. He, how do y'all right. feel about that? I'm not on the same page as her. Like, yeah, me neither. Me, and I'm not with all that. You don't got to own no bus. As long as you got your own income, that's good with me. Yeah, same. Long as, as long as we can put our shit together and make something happen. Oh, so you so you with the putting the... the... Uh, now. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm now, cool to put the shit in, gotta, but we broke. can't share same, same accounts, no. Like, my account can't like be joint, to, no. I would like to have I, that. Now, we could go ahead and put some money in a yeah. pot like that, like that, but yeah, we're but not doing like no joint custody account, though, bank account. Like, Hell no. Like, I would no. like that one day, like, to put, like, you know, that I think that's cool. Like, you and your man have a you joint go account ahead. and you have your own little money. I think that's good. Like Okay. A little, a, you go well, ahead and you, you do that. You didn't say how you felt about it. Um, You know, <laughs> I... I, I I feel where y'all coming from, but I think I understand her point of view to where, you know, like she's on TV. She's like, you know, like, look who you talking to when you asking her a question about. In the but who is she? No, bitch. but I know TV. Exactly. Like, hey, y'all. Like, 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 okay, what's the like, like, okay, like, 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 but I see why she said that. Like, I'm not going to lie. I see why she said okay, that. Okay, see, this is where the disconnect with men and women come from. Because mm -hmm. just how you just said, you know, she on TV. She this, she that. Now, let me give you a little background on her. She's 39. Mm. She's a lawyer. She, I think she hosted some shit on Fox. You know, she's pretty well known. She, she got a lot of money, basically. She's well off. She was married to a white guy. He was the CFO of, I could get the exact shit, but I don't feel like looking it up. What's her name? Ebony K. Williams. Okay. Yeah, you could Google her and figure out everything she did. Basically, she was a lawyer and she was on TV. She was on one of those housewife shows as well. She married some well-off white guy. They got divorced. So now she's 39. Basically, the reality is she's pretty much cooked as far as the dating market goes. Like right. she's it's she's fucked off. I mean, I'm sorry, sorry to say, because she actually did a statement where she came back and doubled down because she got a lot of negative backlash. From that. From that, but she tried to spin it like, no, I'm speaking life into black men. You know, I'm, I'm basically telling you to, to look, you know. She know what she meant when she no, said it the first time. That, Don't try to sugarcoat yeah, nothing. No, I, I, I'm, you I'm went back, you got all of them, all that backlash and them telling you that, oh, so that's how you feel about the black man. So that's how you feel about this. And so that's how you feel about that. Now you want to get back on TV and talk? No. Yeah. So she tried no. to clean it up. Like she was trying to inspire us, mm -hmm. but you saw the original reaction is like come she on. had to pause for a second and think like she swallowed it like did you just ask me to to date a bus driver right right so my take on it is what this is what women don't understand the more successful you are you box yourself in with your options because there aren't that many successful guys that's out at those levels 
So automatically, you don't want to date down. So that's why she's like, no, you got to own the bus. But lady, you're 39. You're cooked. Anybody that owns a bus, he's going to come look for 26. Mm hmm. He ain't looking for 39. But she been with the hey, white guy for know. so long. <laughs> and he been throwing the money at her for yeah. so long. So that's all she know is I need somebody that's a CEO. Because she probably been with somebody that's been a CEO or, man, or somebody that's been running their own company and been doing all that. So she like, why would I double? Why would I scoop low? If he ain't owning his own company, I don't want him. I get what she's saying on that level. But then at the end of the day, like, you need to give everybody a try. Yeah, but see, the, prob the problem is... Women don't understand. Men at those levels don't give a fuck about your money. If I'm True. a CEO, what do you, being a lawyer, first of all, you a lawyer. Right. You, you already don't have time to raise no kids. Mm -mm. You, your schedule busy as a motherfucker. You don't have time to cook. You don't have time to clean. You don't have time to be a full-time housewife. Like, I would need you at that level. So your career basically got to end. Mm -hmm. For for a guy like that, so is I, she gonna have the ring already, or this is without the ring? No, you ain't getting the ring if you not if you not um already producing that. Why would I give you the ring if you aren't already doing those duties? You could get a year worth of those duties, and, and then after that, because the um I heard that it only take about two years before you really feel like you want to be married with somebody. I would say less than a, I would say less than a year. For real. So you would know within That's six months fast, if you want to marry this girl nah, or not? But see, we think it's fast because we go through, we are in the from the dating generation. Where we right, just right. date, fuck around, waste time. Right. Date, fuck around, waste time. It really don't take that long. But are you going to really see a person like fully, like, you know, like that good side, bad side within Well, sometimes six you just got to learn, like go as you learn. Well, there's, there's three sides to every person, right? Mm -hmm. You got the public persona, you got the, the private persona, and then you got the secret persona. Public persona is you just met somebody. This is you in public. This is the this is the character that you want to present to people for them to perceive you as. Then you got the private you, the you that you show around, the person you live with, your mate, your family. They know you better than the public do. You will never show people in public this shit. Then you got the secret you, the shit that your spouse don't even know. This shit you take into the grave. This is the real you at your core. Mm -hmm. So to, to ask... Well, are you ever going to really know somebody? You only going to know somebody only so much. Right. Ain't nobody really showing the secret them to nobody. It's some shit you take it to the grave. And and gonna you you got to take three, that with a grain of salt. Get, you might get two. You going to get one, but you're not going to get all three. You're not getting all three. So right. if, if those two, you can live with that and it's giving you the lifestyle you want and it's meeting your criteria, vice versa, be happy with that. And it don't take that long because realistically, arranged marriages... Last longer than marriages where people go pick their own mates. That's a fact. That's another statistical fact. But I don't want to read off the stat. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sound like a robot. But marriages where the father is like, hey, marry, my son want to marry your daughter. Okay. And they like, cool. You got some land. You got whatever. It's in the benefit of both families. Those marriages are, are at like a, a 80 to 90% so fucking uh, success rate. they have to learn each other. Right. right? grow to love each other like they have to genuinely really get to know each other because you already marry at this point it's right. nothing you could do about that right but yeah as far as her just to wrap up the segment on her she's reached a level of success where it's actually a bad thing for her because realistically she's gonna have to get a younger guy and she's gonna be the breadwinner because that's the only guy that's gonna put up with a 39 year old divorcee like no guy, like, first of all, you was married to somebody else. You're cooked anyway. You're done. I can't have that on my jacket. I'm a fucking CEO. What I look like taking somebody else's ex-wife. That's out. Second of all, you're 39. We can't even have kids. She's talking about she froze her eggs, like, all type of weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, How many kids she could, got? On the set, I don't, I don't think she got none. Like, um, and you, she, she 39? She's 39. She got no kids. She froze her eggs. Basically, she know the reality of her situation so she actually came out she was on the breakfast club saying you know what at this point in my life um she's so successful she got so much money she's been around so many powerful men she doesn't want to even negotiate with a man like just say she said oh yeah if we had kids i don't want to have to ask you permission to get my kids vaccinated or this and that she doesn't want to be under 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 the authority of no man so she was like i'm gonna just do it on my own i'm gonna go get a fuck basically get a donor mm -hmm. <laughs> 
get these eggs uh, that I froze and I'm going to do it on my own, which is a fucked up mindset. That's what I mean by self-destruct. You're going to raise a kid by yourself. By yourself. So what you going to tell this girl or this boy when he be like, where my dad Where at? my dad at? You, the you... <laughs> is doing it. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Y'all is crazy. Yeah, but just that mindset alone is like, why would you take that from your kid? Why You never even gave this kid a chance at having a father. Right. For your own selfish reasons, because you can't cooperate with a man or you don't want to be in your true divine feminine energy under the authority of a man. So, yeah, that's why I said that mindset is self-destructive. It's fucked up. But, yeah, she's cooked. It, it's a wrap. It's, it's over for her as far as that go. She ain't getting that um <laughs> that owner. That, that bus driver. Owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> she'll get the bus driver, though, because, yeah, he looking for a come up. But, yeah, that owner, yeah, that's over with. He going to 18, 19, 20. 22. 